Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Frame with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, you probably noticed the shed is back. I've racked the walls, I've organised the samples. So we're going to head to Campbelltown. Yes, you've probably noticed it's not a spring bank on the thumbnail you've noticed, on the bar you've noticed. We're heading to Long Row. Yes, it's the Springbank Distillery. It's one of the arms of Springbank. The, just a quick whiz on them. The Hazelburn is the Springbank's unpeated. Springbank is lately peated. And the long row is the heavily peated. So this is this is PPM levels, phenol parts per million. I believe it's round about the 40 PPM, 40 to 50 PPMs. So it's quite heavily peated. Uh, the malted barley is, is peat dried for 40 hours. Quite a lengthy time. So yes, let's see what it impacts on this 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 bottle. Yes, it's in a Springbank bottle, everything's saying Springbank, but this is long row. So yes, this is the double distilled. I believe this is majority, if not all, ex-bourbon cask. It's bottled at 46% ABV. It's non-chill filtered, blah de blah de blah all that stuff's gone on. So let's dive in, guys. It's been covered up by the trusty whiskey friend coin for the last hour or so. Let's get that off. Let's get some nice sweet peat into the shed. Wow. I can't believe how how fruity, how sweet, how sweet peat this one is. Tropical fruit, bags and bags of tropical fruit. Lots of stuff going on. Pineapple, mango, melon, all the usuals. Apples, pears, apricots. Just a basket of fruit. Fruit basket going on here. And at the same time, a little bit of spice, a little spicy note on the nose. In the background, you've got that distant bonfire smoke, distant barbecue smoke. It's beautiful, beautifully fruity. Fruity, spicy, tropical fruit. That beautiful, beautiful little background of smoke going on. This is beautifully integrated, guys. This is a this is a masterpiece in, in whiskey blending. Tip my hat to the guys at Springbank and the guys at Long Row. So fruity. But the ex bourbon cast guys, there's a really nice honey, toffee, vanilla element going on. But at the same time, it's it's I wouldn't say it's got that Campbelltown funk, but it's got a, a nice little earthy vibe going on. It's earthy, it's outdoor, it's grassy, there's bags of dried hay going on, but the, the fruit and it's all beautifully, beautifully integrated. Such and such an interest in those guys. So, as usual, I could nose this for hours, but the video won't allow me. Colour-wise, it's got that beautiful light gold, light copper, light amber, dark straw. There's, there's a whole vibe going on. I'm not too sure if the camera can pick up those legs. There's some beautiful legs coming down there. Thick, slow, wonderful. And you're probably thinking, wow, Alan, that's a really, really big whiskey, but it's not, guys. If you're a regular to the channel, you'll realise it's just one of those tiny, tiny little Glen Cairn whiskey friend nosing glasses. So the next thing to do, guys, is let's send this down the hatch, nice and responsibly, of course. Let's taste it. Long row heated NES, 46% ABV. Wow. On arrival, it's got a lovely, lovely intensity. It's a little bit punchy. That 46%, a little bit spicy. Beautiful, punchy, spicy. A little bit dry. A little bit sooty on arrival. It's definitely, there's definitely more smoke on the palate than there was on the nose. That ashy thing's going on. But it's not as it develops, it becomes really the fruits become back at the they, they take over again. The the smoke and the ashiness, 
the distant bonfire, the spicy takes a wee bit of your back seat, and it comes through lovely, that velvety, silky, sweet mouthfeel, almost syrupy, creamy, syrupy, sticky honey, sticky toffee, beautiful sweet vanilla, and then all that tropical, the, the, the apples, the pears, the mangoes, the pineapples, might be a wee hint of coconut there on the palate as well, but there's lots and lots of tropical fruit. Let me do a second sip, guys. This is blah blah research, of course. Wow. Chewy, silky, velvety, sooty. And then yeah, the fruits, it's all about the fruit. It's all about the smoke is, again, just taking a wee bit of backseat. Apples, pears, mangoes, peaches, pineapples, That those tinned fruits, tinned fruits and syrup, tinned, tinned pineapples, tinned apricots, tinned pears, fruit cocktail with that syrupy, beautiful syrupy mouthfeel, creamy spice heading towards the finish now. Spicy, it's coming a wee bit spicy again. The smoke is coming back now. The smoke is just coming back into play. It's ashy, bonfire, distant bonfire, burning embers of a fire. Definitely ashy. A little bit of spice. And the fruit is now gone. Wow. Guys, what a whiskey. I have reviewed the channel, I have reviewed the Springbank 10, and I have reviewed the Hazelburn 10. This is the first time I've done the long row, not too sure why. They're all in the same sort of price point, so if you're, if you're looking, if you like peat, and you like sweet peat in particular, then this is, this is a must, this is a no-brainer. You must get this on your bar, and you must get to try this whiskey. I think it's the easiest of the Springbank bottles to pick up. The Springbank 10, if you're not quite on the heavy peated stuff, you want the lightly peated, you might want to go down the Springbank 10 route. And if you don't like the peat at all, the Hazelburn 10 is a fantastic dram, fantastic piece of work, equally as fruity, all that stuff's going on. They're all in that £50 price point, so they're fantastic whiskies. I would definitely, guys, pick them all up and compare them all. That might be a future video, Springbank 10, long, long row peated, and Hazelburn 10. So there, there's there's a kind of video in the making. If you want to see that video, guys, give me a shout. Let me know. Dive into the comments. So what are we going to score this one, guys? So score-wise, purely on today, guys, this is a solid, solid 90 out of 100. I can't express... What a staggering piece of work this is. Staggering whiskey, staggering quality, staggering price point. You can probably see I'm starting to get excited. So nice. So dangerous. This is another dangerous dram on the Whiskey Friend channel. If you've liked the video, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've not hit the subscribe button, what are you waiting for? The big red button is just down there. Click, click, click. It'll help you keep updated when I'm putting out a new video. I'm going to maybe tackle a couple of live streams through the summer, so it helps you keep updated with that. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you very much, guys, and welcome back. If you want to follow us on, we've got various... I'll drop some links into the description. I've got some Patreon links down there. If you want to help support the channel on Patreon, it all goes to help buy more of this stuff. If you want to watch on Patreon for free, then feel free to dive in and join up for free. If you want to help a little bit, guys, and become a channel member, all the links are down below, guys. Just click down below there, and I'd love to see you come on board. I have this beautiful little band of whiskey misfits. And other than that, guys, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. Until next time, as always, the pleasure is in the sharing. And don't forget to send some great whiskey stood in the hatch. Cheers now.